Evo, the beginning of all Evo right here. We'll be back. Can I have the key? Can I have the key though? I'll give it back. Can I just can I have it right now? Hey helper, can you start the car for me please? Can you? Okay, so it's Evo time. This is the official start of this car getting actually converted over to all Evo stuff. All right, we got a helper right here. He's gonna start the car for us in a minute. Right, Danny? Exactly. He's gonna have fun. He likes starting that car. What do you think? What do you think? I think we're going all Evo. That's right. Uh, don't start it yet. You can't start it yet. Up, All right. Anyway, so we're getting ready to put the exhaust on this thing. Uh, we left the rear, rear valance off a while back when we were working on it. And now we're going to rip all this exhaust out. And Danny's going to put the new Evo in, right? Huh? What? I thought I was uh, just coming over to be like a model for you. like. Yeah. While you're putting the exhaust on. <sighs> Suckered in again. Right. You said it was a barbecue. <laughs> it is. It's going to barbecue your hands because we need to see what this thing sounds like before we take it off. Alright. Alright, we'll get some light on the subject right here and we're going to start ripping this thing out in a minute. Can you? Okay, do it. Start it up. we got to see what this exhaust sounds like before we switch over to the Evo. Can you do it? Start it up. It's not a key like that. You know, you know how to do it. Right there, dude. Playing crazy. All the way. Keep doing it. Whoa. All right. All right. So this is what it sounds like with the stock exhaust. All right. Once we swap it out, we'll show you what it sounds like with the Evo. Hey, helper, can you turn the car for me, please? Okay, do it. Can you turn the car off, please? There you go. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, helper. Thank you, helper. All right. Can I have the key? Can I have the key, though? I'll give it back. Can I can have it right now? Thank you. All right, let me get a Okay, so step one and swapping out this exhaust is what, Danny? Finding someone willing to do it. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like we have an eager taker right here. This is my son, Darren. Hold on, let's pull those springs off first. I want to see that. This is the dreaded thing you always see. I hate doing this on every video where so they swap just out. You have to grab, like, maybe right there. Okay. Clamp it really good and then pull it. That bracket comes off. What's that? That bracket comes off. Yeah, this will yeah. be out of the way if I just undo all these bolts. You have to take out those two screws, those two screws. Ratchet might help, too. Get underneath some of these spots. It's going to be a little hard. Like the one on top? Yeah. We can pull this bracket out of the way. Pull this. Easy money. What are they talking about? What do you think? What are they talking about? Right? Could have could it have been any easier? You can't use you, tweezers on that to get it off. Right? You did it from a chair reclined. I know. I did it from behind the camera. I'm I mean, supervising. Yeah. Uh oh. The hardest part's gonna be getting those vice grips. Those are not top quality vice grips, I'm gonna tell you right now. What's going on, helper? You want out? You want out? Maybe Daniel will let you out. Out of my door bag. What's that? I do. I forget about it. It's in the door bag. You forgot about it. All right. Spring two. What happened? What happened? You forgot about it, didn't you? That light? Yeah. I always forget about it. It's it's full of, it's 
for on the road. The shroud's kind of in the way. You can pull it all the way. Like, well, I think you got what, two more bolts. You can pull it all the way if you need to. That's all right. I can get it. Oh, yeah. We're going to need to. Can you hold this for you? All right. Here we go. <laughs> that one's a little harder, huh? A little harder to get to. Here, supervisor. You bring these to the hotel. Oh, come on, bitch. Okay, that one's a struggle. Damn it. Don't hurt me. That hurt you? Are you helping? All right, you got all the lights. Apparently those back ones are a little bit uh, stronger than the front ones, or the outside ones. It's just a lot more awkward to get to. Well, let's pull the shield all the way out of the way then. Stop fighting with it. All right. So that shield's completely loose now. Maybe pull those vice grips out of the way and see if we can work that shield out. Actually, you're probably okay. Maybe just work this thing forward a little bit. Set that aside. Ah, it's still open now. Last one. Got the other one off? I missed it. Alright, here we go. Uh, that one's going to be a challenge because the, the muffler's moving back. Hang on a second. Let's push. Hang on a second. Let's push on that muffler. Got it? All right. All right. So now what we're going to do is pull these four bolts out. Two on this side. Two on the other side and get the stuck muffler out. Wrong size. Wrong size. There's actually a swivel in there. It'll be, how about a swivel and an extension will help. Swivels right here. Oh, it's a nut on the back. Is it? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. All right. Bolt number one out of the stock. Exhaust. What do you think, gang? Making progress. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna swap out. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna swap this exhaust out. We're gonna put the, the new uh, Evo exhaust in. And we're gonna run some zero to 60s. We'll be right back. But not today. All right. He's pulling out the other side. We will let him do it and we will come back for the fun stuff. Right, Danny? Yep, yes sir. One more bolt and the stock exhaust is out. After half, two half. years and 3,000 miles, we finally got some exhaust. Half of the exhaust, you still gotta take the rest of it off. That's, that's still pretty warm. That's cat, that's cat delete. That's exhaust. Does it come out of the, out here? I'm just, uh, just going, I'm you know just what? telling you what they call this it. This argument is exhausting. I know. And it's a waste. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at the space. Look at that. All Great right. Space. Here comes the big moment when the stock exhaust comes out. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah. Boom. This thing's heavy. Let's just put the uh, the evil one in here. You don't need. You don't need to. 
Don't That's need the cat to leave. I'm All right. It's too bad we don't have the injectors right now. Look how easy it would be to get to those. Take that right. sensor off. Uh, uh, it is a zip tie. Yeah, we need a zip tie and a very large. Bring the uh, metric wrenches because it's going to be one of the big ones. All right. Actually, you're going to go real easy with that sensor. It's not on my car. Like we're going to take the O2 sensor out right now. Then we're going to take this loose from the perch. Then we're going to then we're going to bust the B-band loose. Oh. Yeah, it might be a little hard. I guess we hey Danny, we can leave that O2 sensor in until we get the exhaust off. Yeah, huh? Dan, put it in the voice. What do you think? Take it out out here, put it inside the vise, and use the that way you can put a better angle on. Alright, we're gonna leave the O2 sensor in and see if we can get this thing out. So first thing you did first thing you gotta do is get the strap off. Yeah, strap? The this one? Yeah. Okay. It's probably gonna be a 516. You wanna use the you're gonna use this guy with the adapter and a 516. All right, so we're going to get this. There's a little uh, strap that goes around that perch right there. So you can see that. Getting that off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the V-band v loose, and then we're going to rock it back here to see if we can break it loose. The V-band's right up in there, so we got to get that nut right there. See that nut right there? Yeah. Uh, we got to get it all the way off, so we're going to get it loose, and then we're going to... Get a socket on it with a power tool. You can also get to that from inside the car. It might be easier. What are you doing, helper? Oh, you got a wrench too? What are you doing? Are you changing the injectors already? You're a step ahead then. Man, I wish we had the injectors right now. Look at that. Man, I wish when I did my exhaust, that when I did my exhaust, I knew that piece came off. I did everything from out here. <laughs> you did not. I, I did too. You didn't know this piece in between the seats came up? No. Oh no. So I, I don't. I was doing this kind of type of stuff, you know, trying to get. I uh, finally got up and I did everything by myself. So. Like, yeah. So, Danny's saying he swapped out his, his exhaust, that not knowing that there's still. What happened? That was when I first got my first got my new. Look at this. Let me see. Let me see if I can find a long socket for that. Yes. Uh, all right. You said 12? And of course my 12 is not that deep. All right. All right, let's go see what we can do. We got two options. One is this guy, which is a universal. See if that'll fit all the way on there. Nope, here. We'll just go on yet. Yep, perfect. All right. All right, we'll just pull this nut all the way. We'll leave it right there for now. Here. Just put that on top of that tray. All right, now, busting that V-band loose. So, we're gonna try a trick here, Dean. All right, all right, we have everything loose. Uh, we're gonna see if we can break this V-band loose. So what I'm gonna do right now is kind of rock this exhaust around. We have it completely loose here. Somehow we gotta get the strap all the way loose. Let's tap it. What you got there? Ah, uh, this is a persuasion tool. 
So we've got we got we got that V-band loose on one side for sure. Let's go take a look. It's uh, yeah, mm. backed up on both sides. Yeah, I think what we can do now is uh, I think what we can do now is take this guy and we can put some line in here. Over here we can see that V-band. Here it comes in this direction. All right, yeah. So it's not in the back. We see the front still, kind of on there. So let's take this long guy. Let's see if we can knock it forward. Oh. I guess that was the trick. I guess we've got to get that V-band all the way off. Hold that up. Hold this end up. Up all as far as you can. All right, let me lock, knock that V-band completely loose, and then we'll go in the car and take it out. Loose, loose. We just gotta pull it off. Okay, here we go. Now we're making some noise. It's awkward to get to. This heat shield's probably keeping up from coming off. Yeah. Okay. I think you can pull it out now. There you go. All right. Look at that. What is that? That's a piece. That is a catalytic converter. Now we just need that. We need that O2 sensor out of it. <coughs> Place it. <laughs> so we just need the O2 sensor out of it. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Hold on. Can we, uh... Nope. Hmm. Did you try it already? <laughs> Out. You just leave that on there that way, you know, next time you have to take one off, it's there. Okay, so like I said a minute ago, I just realized, so I was working on the sprinklers a little bit ago. <laughs> Apparently, I, I didn't notice it, but I got blasted. Like I mentioned a minute ago, it's all Evo time. So this is the beginning, Evo exhaust. It's not all shiny because it's not brand new. Uh, a couple years old, we could have... Uh, Put some SOS to it and polished it up. It's stainless steel, but we're not going to. It's behind the cover. It can't be seen. I'm not putting the cover on. Anyway, we're going to polish it later. You're not putting the cover back on? I don't know. I thought you said you liked the cover. I'm not sure. I haven't decided. You're putting it back on. Anyway, <laughs> so here's what's going on. All Evo, starting with the exhaust. Uh, like we showed you already, we got a Map Tuner X. We have some tunes on the way. Uh... We have a wastegate actuator on the way. We have a uh, we have injectors on the way. Uh, we just pulled out the old exhaust. My son yanked it all out for me. Danny helped out. I watched. I watched. So, all small support. More now we are going to. Now we're gonna get. We already got the O2 sensor out of here real quick. Now we're gonna slap it in here and we're gonna put this guy on. Evo, the beginning of all Evo right here. We'll be back. Alright, so Evo, we're going to take that O2 sensor right now and slap it in there. Uh, let's get it in there and then we will, um, we'll give it a little, we'll give it, we'll snug it up once it's in the car. I don't want to put the stainless steel, I don't want to put the, the super expensive stainless steel exhaust in the vice. Well, because it's super expensive and I just paid for it. 
Although I got a good deal. It still costs money. Figure tight. All right. We'll give that just a little bit of a snug, and then we will we will give it the real snug when it's in the car. All right, let's go drop this thing in. Gotta get that there. Danny's gonna do that part. Huh? If you feed it in. Come on, Danny. Where'd you put it? It's on there still. Oh, okay. You just have to. He'll guide that in. Just kind of slowly feed this in. Try not to bump that sensor. Alright. I call him DJ, but he goes by Darren because it's my son. I call him DJ. And if, I, if he went by Darren with me, it would be weird because I go by Darren. But anyway, he's going to put this end in. And Danny's going to guide from this end so we can put the V-band. I kind of left the V-band kind of just to... Oh, let me saw. Is it gone? Dang, you guys are good. Yeah, just hold it, hold it still right there, dude. Yeah. There it goes. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, you got the ratchet for this? Yeah. I'll grab it. You gotta spin it around. About right there, I think, is where it was. All right. Easy peasy. Easy. Man, that was that was actually pretty easy, right? So let's grab the ratchet. Well, is that uh, where it needs to sit? What's that? Is that where it needs to sit? The exhaust? Yeah. Uh, let's go take a look. Oh. Oh. Not exactly, no. Right there. Uh, probably up a little more. Uh, well, that's you know a what? We could put this housing on it, that little bracket on it, see if it lines it up, right? That's a good question. Uh, I guess let's get it semi-tight and then we'll line it up. wrench it from there I don't have a deeper one but that should be enough just to keep it secure to where it doesn't it needs out. a little more because it's still pivoting yeah, it's make still it pivoting. so it does hold itself up in the more this hand prep sucks it's inconvenient I'm glad you're doing it power tools power tools make me lazy how's that so hold this up. Okay, we're good. So hold itself up? Yep. Can we still spin it? Yeah. Because there's still screws in there from tearing the thing. This is, everything's torn apart. This whole thing's torn apart. Yeah. And we got to open Pismo next week, so we we got to get it back together. Just kidding. Yeah. I'm just kidding. And we got to do zero to 60 tomorrow, though. Dean just got clutch weight. So. Is this? Are you gonna make zero to 60 in this? Yes. Absolutely. What'd you just say to me? Are you out of your mind? What do you mean? In this, we're doing zero to 60? Yeah. We got a lot to put together. Not really. Yeah, we're gonna use all that. Should yeah. put it on before we got it in there. Oh wow. Well. Because the O2 sensor. Oh, but the wire's loose. Just feed it through the wire. Yeah. All right, we're gonna put everything back on now. All the fun stuff is about to happen now. I mean, not for me. All right. You saw all this stuff cut go in so maybe I'll cut and we'll come back when it's kind of more in what do you think what do you think Danny yes we'll be right back <laughs> all right so what we're doing now is getting the clamp on the first so we can hold this exhaust in place so it doesn't rotate and it looks like a pain a little bit of work All right. What, buddy? There. All right. And I've rotated a little bit so the yeah, you don't have to loop. You might want to loosen that clamp back up. The bottom clamp's got to go in. See, 
you said danger to zero to sixty-two Probably he just got his clutch weights. The whole plan was to do the zero to sixty today. Well, he could, he could try to do zero to sixty. What's going on good. up there? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay, so we have the shields in place. Uh, the V cl clamp is on and a little bit tight. The O2 sensor is on and a little bit tight. Uh, what was next? Oh, these brackets. The brackets and the shield. Yeah, we might as well. Except you want to get the muffler on and get the. Um, so when we do the springs, that guy's not in the way. Yeah. All right. All right, so the other piece. The other very important piece to all of this, this guy right here. Yep. All right. Let me get these in here. Right. Yeah, we'll drop, drop the back ones in. That way we can rotate it back and forth. All right. Now we can, oh, actually. Yeah, you're there. We're lined up. Awesome. Look at that. Now we have to make a decision. Do we put the rear valance back on? Or do we run without it? Everybody, leave your comments. Tell me what you think. What do you think, Danny? I think we put it back on. What do you think, son? <laughs> Would you put it back on? So there's a, you know, the rear valance that goes around that covers everything up. Yeah. Should we let the exhaust show or put the valance? I think you should let it show. That valance is uh, not shiny. Exactly. Like this beautiful now we, exhaust. Now we just got to find someone to polish up this stainless steel exhaust. Alright. Uh oh. What time is it? It's springtime. Not the kind you like where you go swimming and stuff. This kind. That looks brutal. Oh, what do you think? Careful. I've some, seen some people get hurt. Some knuckle busters. Oh yeah. Mostly on video. Black eyes. Coming off. We got one head. though. Oh, you got two on already. Oh, yeah. Wow. We're not screwing around now. We're about to hear some Evo exhaust on the cool. on Trip the Ripper on the Dandy cart and cool. installed in the Dandy garage. Just like everything else will be that goes on this car from now on, all Evo stuff, we will be installing ourselves. Every single last thing. Head studs, big turbo, all of it. What's that? Yeah, it's on the stock exhaust right over there. Oh, you gotta pull it up and down, huh? Exhaust is a little bit in the way. There it is. Oh, man. I'm so glad he did that. Danny, aren't you glad he did that? Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad because I didn't want to do that. What's up for those? All right. Now we got uh, heat shields. Actually, we could probably go ahead and tighten everything up back here now. Even though. Uh, including Even the, the Q band. Including the Q band. <laughs> Uh, maybe before we get any more stuff on, we should get in there with a wrench and give that uh, O2 sensor a, a little snug. Yeah, put another zip tie on it, a little yep. wire management. Yep. All right, what we're going to do now is snug up that O2 sensor and uh, put a zip tie back on it that holds the wire in place. That's right up. Hopefully, can, maybe you can see that. Up, up. up in there. You just bought some zip ties. Right in there. Uh, there's some right over here too. I got it. All right, we got zip ties everywhere. I'm getting anxious to see what this thing sounds like. What do you think? I think it's gonna sound awesome. I mean, I kind of know what it's gonna sound like, but. Oh, you heard it on the. Uh... On Dean's car? On Dean's car. All right. We're getting close. We're getting so close. I can feel it in the air tonight. What happened? I said so close I can feel it in the air tonight. Alright, zip ties. Alright, a little bit of cable management, wire management. Uh, springs are on. Food for thought for next time. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Let's see, we gotta tighten up these bolts. Uh, bolt brakes is tight, right? <clears throat> yes. Okay. Making 
Some some consider that over tight. I don't know if you could hear Danny. So once the bolt breaks, it's considered tight. Sometimes that's considered uh, over torqued, beyond torque specs. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we forgot one little thing. What's wrong? Popping. I think I think we're okay. All right. Okay, so we forgot one little thing here. This heat shield, this giant heat shield. But here, I'll hold that in place. All right, here we go. We're gonna put this heat shield back on. Once we're done with that, we're gonna tighten those bolts right down there. And we're gonna fire this thing up and see what it sounds like. And then tomorrow, we're gonna do some zero to 60s. And I think Dean's gonna join us in zero to 60s in that big turbo KMS car. He got some new weights. Hopefully he can turn some RPMs. Yeah. So in this car we ran on a 91 octane power package. We ran a 477, he ran a 465. All right, so we're gonna get this bracket on and then we're gonna tighten those bolts and then we're gonna fire this thing up. We'll be right back. All right, we are on the final, we're on the final few steps. We're gonna tighten this stuff down. few more than the four main bolts on the exhaust. We'll just put that right there. Oh, the floor! Uh oh. I don't worry about the tools and the exhaust on it. Alright, what's going on? I was gathering the tools, tighten these up. Last four bolts. I'm ready to go. We're gonna need our helpers. Two more bolts to go. BJ, get in the car. You ready to fire it up? Huh? I'm keep We lost the bolt. We lost the socket. Ugh. Car ate it. In this corner, down in here, down here. Uh, I see it. See it? Yep. All right. Guess where it went? Same place as that bolt did on the. Okay. All right. All right. Zero to sixties. All right. We'll be right back. This thing's bright. <laughs> what happened? What happened over here? Lost a socket. Oh. Or ate it. We found it. That's okay. I found this. I found this on the ground, all scratched to crap. Apparently, my phone fell out of my pocket. That's all right. All right here we go. There we go. We're all tight. It's on. Evo exhaust is on the car. We're ready to fire this thing up for the first time. We gotta go give our helper the key. Hold on. Oh, okay, what are we doing? Are we ripping some wire right now? That's, yeah, but we don't need to whip, rip the wire out. What do you need? You need the key? I agree, we need to hear what this Evo exhaust sounds like. Are you ready? Okay. Fire it up, big guy. All right, first fire up. Here we go. First fire up with any Evo on this car. Just the beginning. Fire it up. Do it. Push it hard. Hold it. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That sounds healthy. Sounds good. All right, we're gonna open up this garage before we fix the case. See what this thing sounds like. We give it a little bit of rev rev. You like it? Does it sound good? Oh, balls. Good reverse.
hear the turbo now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Sounds pretty good. We'll be back. You get it with this. Alright, listen to that turbo. Okay, so we showed you what the exhaust sounded like. It sounds great. We love it. We're gonna do some zero to 60s just for the heck of it. I I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't expect any big gains. We haven't made any big changes yet. Just the exhaust, uh, you know, I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe we'll see something, maybe we won't. We won't, it'd be hard to say, but we'll find out. And I think Dean is coming along with us for some zero to 60s because he got some different clutch weights. In the meantime, Danny's doing whatever his Danny's doing over here. Eh, the security is a little bit better with the different styles of pads to see what they look like. Yeah, he's doing that. All right, anyway, that is that. Brandy couldn't be here. She will be here probably next video. She said peace. She also said, hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. We do appreciate it. We still answer all the comments, even the rude ones, uh, one way or another. And uh, thank you very much. As of this video, we are at 2,998 subscribers, about to hit 3,000. So thank you, thank you, we appreciate it, and peace.